In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the music player Songbird. Songbird is a program that acts as a kind of hub for various online music services, as well as a player for the music that you have installed on your computer. Um, so here's the, the music that's inside my music folder. Um, just, just a few tracks to show you how it works. Um, but also, it will play music from various online sources, so various online radio stations. Um, and you can also use it to find concerts in your area, to get news about artists, reviews of albums um, and music videos. And the advantage is that it's all, it all comes from this one source, you know, you can do it all from within one program rather than having to go to various different websites. Um, so when you install Songbird, it, it says that it would like to install various plugins such as Last FM, Shoutcast, um, let it install all of the plugins so that it will, so that it has all these, these, these features, all of the features that, um, that, that it's designed to have. Um, so, so say yes to that. And then it will try to scan your computer for the music that you have. Um, and by default, it'll look in your music folder. So that's just what I've let it do. Um, and it has the music library here. Um, so first thing to look at is, um, how you can, how you can browse your, your music. So if you leave all these, um, these ones check, these ones highlighted at the top. So you've got in every one, all is highlighted. So that's going to show all of the music. But you can browse by genre, so you can click on jazz, and it will just bring up the jazz tracks. And then from within that, you can you can drill down even even further and just select a single artist, so that you just have the work of that one artist. Or you could start straight from the artist's box and just click on a single artist from there. So that's how you can browse the music that you have on your hard drive. Um, and you just to play a track. Just double click it like that. And when you're playing a track, just press pause. When you're playing a track, um, this, this mash tape here brings up lots of extra information about the artist. So in this tab here, we've got the artist information and it gives you a little symbol that shows you where it's come from. So this has come from Last FM. Last FM is, um, is a, a music service that has, um, lots of, lots of information about artists as well as tracks that you can stream for free. Um, so that's the artist info. Then in this next tab, reviews. So that's come from Amazon, you can see there. So you can browse down, check all these different reviews. News. Um, that's come from the hype machine, or it could come from Google News or um, various other music blogs that it will pull in these news stories from and you can just click through. Um, you can just click through to have a look. And Songbird has a built-in web browser so that when you um, when you click on these things, it will just load up the web page from within Songbird and you've got this kind of tabbed browsing here that you're used to. And then photos, just bring up a sort of photo album, just whiz along and you can see these different photos. And videos, it'll get you some music videos from Last FM. So that's just from that's just from playing a track on your computer. Automatically, all of this information is brought down from the web, and it's just ready and organised in those tabs for you. Songbird can also keep an eye out for concerts, upcoming concerts, which is kind of handy because then it means that you'll be alerted when a concert's going to happen, rather than having to look it up and keep checking something on the web. Um, so if, just fill in the location. You just find this concert bit up here. Um, fill in your location. And then you can see here there's this um, this option here to add a tour column to your library. So if they're on tour, this little ticket will appear. Um, and, and then you can go through to get tickets if you want to. I just click find shows. And there's nothing because I only have a very small um, I only have a very small playlist, so there's there's nothing touring. But then you can click through to see all concerts, and that's everything that's on in the city you selected within the next few months. So you can browse that and then click through to get tickets if you want to. 
So then to get back to the start, I just click here on library and that's the original screen. And then if I want to go back to that contents page, it's already set up there. So if I want to browse for something that's on in my area, and I can do it by alphabet by clicking on these. The next thing to look at is Last.fm. Um, Last.fm, if you don't know what it is, um, you should go to the website, which is just last.fm. That's the URL as well. Um, and you can sign up for an account. And it's, it's a service that helps you to discover new music. So you can look up artists that you like. And then you can find similar artists and, and play sample tracks. Or it also has built-in radio stations. So you can um, make a radio station that's based on an artist that you like or a style of music that you like. Um, so it's quite advantageous to have Last.fm operating from within Songbird because then that's all your music in one program and it's not, it's not within your web browser. So I can just click on here, Recommended Artists. And I've already logged into my, my last FM account, so it already has this information here for me. So I can just click on one of these. Um, and then I can find similar artists. And I can just click, click play on any one of these to play some of their songs. Shirtcast is for internet radio. So here you can see um, a big list of internet radio stations. And then you can choose, you can search them by clicking on the, on the filter. So I'm just going to click, uh, I'm just press chill out. Oops, I spelled it wrong. Um, and there you go, there's a list of stations that have the word chill in them. And then if you were to play these, then you would get the additional in, uh, information coming up in mash tape there. If you want to buy music, it's got seven digital incorporated within it and then you can just run a search for the artist that you're interested in or you can have a browse through these latest releases top selling and so on these playlists here are quite good these are smart playlists so as you use songbird more and more these will fill up so you'll see um the songs that you play mo most often will automatically be added to this playlist. Um, so, so all the songs that fit into these various categories will automatically fill in, in into the playlist. And then you can just click on here um, to use it. And so far, those are the ones that have been played the most. You can also create your own smart playlists. If you go to um, File, New Smart Playlist, then you can use these criteria here. So to create a condition that a song has to meet before it goes into the playlist. So there are things, strange things like um, bit rate even. You can make a play playlist of a certain songs with a certain um, quality. Um, so you can just choose any of these, any of these things, um, or one of one of these. So if it has to contain a certain word, then you can type the word in there, um, and that will that will create a playlist of the particular condition that you want. In this top corner is the search box. So by default, it's going to search your library, your music library. So if you type a word in here, it will search for tracks that have that word in them. Um, but if you use the drop down, you can, you can use it to search the hype machine, which is an MP3 blog. Um, so it's, it's a, it's a blog that has music news, but it also has, um, three mp3s on there that you can play so if i just type a band name here in, in, into this um, and press enter to search the hype machine then i get these entries associated with the smashing pumpkins and i can just press play and it will play the song so if you just want to listen to a song by a certain artist, you just want to find out what a certain artist is like, then that's quite a good way. You can just use this drop down arrow and straight away from within Songbird, you can search the hype machine and hopefully something will come up that you can play. There are more things that you can do with Songbird. I haven't showed you everything, but that is, those are the main features. That's a good tour of the main, the main things that you can, that you can do with it. So I hope you enjoy discovering and playing new music using Songbird.